Hello, Diana J. Brody here from NLE Academy, and today we're going to be talking about trim mode, Premiere versus Avid. Let's do it. Trim mode, let's start with Premiere. Right here, I have a piece of B-roll, this disgusting uh, mug right here, disgusting mug that is, uh, that is over covering my cousin Barack, right? Then we come out of it to here, and let's say I actually wanted to trim that edge to here. There's like about a million different ways you can do this, but as you know, in Premiere, right, when you get right to the edge, notice, notice that red roller. See that red roller? If I move it slightly in, I've got a yellow roller. If I move it slightly out, I've got a yellow roller. If Stop the presses! Stop the presses! If you don't see what I see, which is the red roll tool and the yellow ripple tools, just by moving your cursor, near a cut point. If you don't see that, do this with me right now. Come up to the Premiere pull, Pro pull-down menu. Premiere Pro pull-down menu. Easy for you to say. And click on it. Go to settings. Go down to trim. Right here under trim, allow selection tool to choose roll and ripple trims without modifier key. Check that. Also, if you don't have the one directly underneath it checked as well, allow current tool to change trim type of previously selected edit point. You want that as well. Trust me on that. Then click OK. That should enable you to be able to see these little tools when we get close to a cut point. And what that other selection does is allows me to, once I click on it, if I meant to have the yellow tool, instead of the red tool, I can just re-click on top of my selection, right? So if I have this selected and I shift click these two and I'm like, ah, I wanted them to be the yellow ripple tool instead, you can change them. But theoretically, you can change them all. I'm still holding down shift and I'm, and I moved it slightly to the side so it changed yellow. Then I clicked on it and it changed all three again. One, two, three down the line. I'm like, ah, I wanted those to be on the yellow tool. If I continue to hold down shift and I get it slightly to the side so it changes to that yellow and I click on that, it will change them all at once. That's what that second one I told you to turn on in the settings does. The first one gives you that choice between the roll tool and the ripple tool. There's too many R words in a row for me. That's it for this fast action news break. Now back to the earlier scheduled program. Red roller, that's an overwrite function overwrite function. Notice, I'm going to show you that this is these colors. This is a splice in type function, right? This is when you splice something in, when you do an insert edit, you push things away, at, but you keep the media on either side of it, right? When you insert it, when you do an overwrite, you chomp over stuff and then you delete the stuff as you, as you edit, right? If I was to do an overwrite edit, over this right here would chomp it up. If I was to do an insert edit and I had my playhead right here, it would push everything out of the way, keep everything intact on either side and insert the edit. This works similarly, right? I'm gonna be, if I pull this with the red roller, now I've L cut this clip all the way to here, right? I moved it all the way to there. Uh, if, if, Let's say for the sake of argument, let me move this clip to the same level and then you get a really good visual, right? So, and let me move this stuff out of the way for the moment. So look, here's your visual. Here's this clip. I'm going to take this orange clip and I want to L cut it more. Now I've slurped up whatever was on this clip at the head of it. I've lengthened the orange clip and I've shortened the, the blue video clip, right? That's with the roller in the middle. The red roller is an overwrite type function. I'm overwriting the blue clips information with new orange clip information. If I were to do this with the yellow instead, that yellow instead right there, and I click on that, notice how that lights it up yellow? Notice how in the middle with the red, it lights it up red. So it's even showing you visually the difference, yellow versus red right there. Sorry about that, move my mouse, yellow versus red right there. Now, if I wanted to do a more insert type function where I'm pushing the footage away as I'm lengthening one clip. So I want 
my cousin Barack to be as you see him here. I don't want to affect this first frame. What a gorgeous first frame. I'm sure he would be thrilled to know that people are looking at him with that look on his face. Ah, uh, he'd be so happy. Okay, so if I come here and I overwrite it, right? Now I'm just sliding over it, and now I've taken away that footage that was there. But if I put it back and I go into yellow mode, yellow mode, and I pull it out, now notice it opened up a gap. That is the same beautiful first clip first frame of that clip that we were on. I've lengthened this without impacting any of the clips next to it. I've shuttled everything else down the timeline by doing that. You can do it the other way too. If I do that, it, it narrows, it makes that gap smaller. See how that gap got bigger? Now this gap is getting smaller and it's pulling Barack with it. Then I can just click right on it and overwrite it and move it. I still have this gap here. I will deal with that later but that's an overwrite. This is more a splice in type function, which is yellow, yellow and red. It seems like people think that trim mode in Avid is this mysterious mode that you go into in Avid and they wanna be able to just click on the thing and move the thing, but it is not that dissimilar from what I've showed you here. In fact, I'm gonna prove it to you. Let's go over to Avid and take a look at the same functions. Okay, welcome to the Avid trim tool side of things. Before we dig into the trim tool, I wanna point out something really important to you guys. You saw in the Premiere side how it's uh, the red is in the middle, right? And, it, and it's an overwrite function. The yellow was sort of an insert function where it's pushing things away and not overwriting anything, not tromping on anything. And one was red and one was yellow. I would love to point out to you that look what's red and what's yellow. Overwrite, splice in, in Avid. So the yellow of, of that function in Premiere and the yellow in this function uh, splice in, this getting it into the timeline, right? Splice in, pushes things away, overwrite, chomp, 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 just goes boom, 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 right over anything you're gonna do in, right? If I wanted to overwrite this right here into here, uh, like here's why I'm on V1, I wanna put it right in the middle of the Denny, uh, uh, let's put it right over, well, let's put it right over this clip right here, uh, in and out, and I hit overwrite, it just tromps right over it, right? Boom, just tromped right over that. But if I do splice in, now it pushed it all away, right? Yellow, red, like in Premiere, yellow, red. Things are not as dissimilar as they seem, folks. They really aren't. So anyway, let's get into trim though. Trim, the trim functions work very similarly, just slight difference, right? So instead of, coming over here and being able to click on a cut, you cannot do that in Avid, right? In Avid wants you to be absolutely certain about everything that you do. So when you're over here, you can't just click on it and pull it, right? You have to go into trim mode. So for example, let me, let me lift this baseball clip out. Let's say I want this baseball clip right here. I, I really wanna stop enlarging the timeline accidentally. So let's say I've got this baseball clip right here, okay? And I want, uh, it comes out and I wanna L cut that a little longer, right? So we see it fly out of his hand and let's see a little bit more of his follow through before we come back to, that's me, that's my neighbor, Denny. That's our recycling for the building. Uh, so, uh, right here is where I want to trim it out to, right? I can't just click on that and pull it over. I'm going to go into trim mode. I could, by the way, in any instance in Premiere or Avid, use extend as well. Perfectly fine trim function. That's in another video. You will see that at the end of the piece. I will have that linked for you. Uh, but right here, I want to move this edge to where my playhead is, right? I'm, I can't click on it. I'm gonna go into trim mode. Trim mode's right here. Here it is. It's natively right here on your toolbar, but if you need it and it's not there, command three or control three on a PC, go to trim and, oh, I'm sorry, go to other 
and then come here and grab trim mode right out of there. It's a button to button reassignment. You can grab it right out and you can put it right wherever you want. You've got all this room. You've got oodles of room for buttons. I of course have it mapped on my keyboard, which comes as no surprise to anybody who's ever watched any video I've ever done ever. So here we go, that's trim mode. I'm gonna go into trim mode. I've got my V2 layer lit up because I want to move the edge of this clip that's found on the V2 layer. My cat loves trim mode as a fun fact for y'all. So I'm gonna go here into trim mode. And when I click into trim mode, you notice that now I've gone into this other land. Don't freak out, right? Don't freak out. You don't wanna be in trim mode and you accidentally activated it, hit escape, done, right? Or you're in trim mode, you don't wanna be in trim mode, hit the top or the bottom uh, time code bar and now you're out of trim mode. So people get freaked out, very easy to get out of trim mode, don't worry about it. So you go into trim mode uh, or you hit your one button as I would do and, uh, and now you've got rollers, right? So look at this. You see I've got one roller on one side and then I've got one roller on the other side. Those two rollers span that little cut point, right? And now you see, watch, and up there I have zero and zero. <laughs> she loves it. She can't get enough of trim mode. And then if you notice, I've got uh, what looks like a little film spool and it's pointing that way when I'm over this window and that's lit up green. Here it's pointing over this window and that's lit up green. But it doesn't matter because if you look in the middle, I've got two, one to each side right there in the middle. If I click on one window or click on the other, now I've turned off one side or the other side. But if I want to affect both, which is like the red roller, uh, the red roller in Premiere, then I want to click back in the middle. So if one's grayed out and you're like, ooh, I want to do it on both, click in the middle. Now you got them both up, you've got rollers on both sides. Now notice what happens to this down here when I click on one side or the other. Now it turns it yellow. Remember in Premiere, it was yellow, if you guys recall, right? Uh, and now I click this and it goes back to pink, which isn't quite the same as red, but it's in the red family. So now if I want, I can do this one of eight zillion ways. Right here are your trim buttons. This is trim left, 10 frames, trim left, one frame, trim right, one frame, trim left, or trim right, 10 frames, right? So I can use this. Watch what happens. If I click that button, that moves. And it's an overwrite function, right? It's just overwriting. It's not pushing anything out of the way. Uh, let me do this. Let me hit escape. And I'm gonna pull this clip down to the bottom to give you a better idea, right? Now I'm gonna go back into trim mode, right? I'm gonna go back into trim mode. Here, I'm gonna use my, I'm gonna use my keyboard. Now I'm back into trim mode. Now baseball is gonna get longer. Denny is gonna get shorter. 10, 10, go back one, go back one. Finesse it, finesse it. Or if you have an extended keyboard, you can go plus 15 and move it 15. So now it's, it's showing you in frames how many frames it's moved from where it used to be. So if I wanted to put it back, I could go minus 28 and that puts it back to zero with baseball being the length it was when we started and Denny being the length it was when we started. Or... I can come over here. If you like the fact that you can click, hold, and drag in Premiere and you want to do that in Avid, you can come over here, click, hold, drag. Now look, I'm dragging it back and forth, just like you do in Premiere. Ain't no mystery to this, folks. You can do it. You can absolutely do it. I highly recommend doing it. I can't get enough of doing it. And as you can see, even my cat loves to do it. Uh, so that's the overwrite function. Denny's getting shorter, baseball's getting longer, or vice versa, right? And it's showing you in frames how far you've moved. So if you've got that Rain Man talent where you can like count the amount of toothpicks that's dropped on the floor and you know exactly how many frames you want, you can say, oh, I would like it to go 12 frames. Boom, perfect. Or minus 12 frames, right? And go the other way. 
So that's that. Now, if I click on one side, now it's yellow, just like in Premiere, and I can, uh, now I can pull it out and it's going to open up a gap, just like in Premiere, right? So I click on one side and I pull it. Whoops, I don't know why it's doing that. I, I click on one side and I pull it. There we go. I wasn't pulling it correctly. And it opens up that gap, just like Premiere, right? You can go the other way with it, just like in Premiere. Now I pulled it out the other side, right? And it's gonna open up the gap. It's gonna be non-destructive to the clips next to it because we're in an over, we're in a splice in kind of function, right? So we're clicked on one side and I'm gonna pull this one way or the other and it pushes everything else down, primarily also because I have my sync locks on. So if you're editing an Avid and you don't have your sync locks on, I wish you the best of luck in that. But that's how you do it. Click on one side, move it. Click on the other side, move it. Come back to the middle. And now you're overwriting it again. Now it's an overwrite function again. That's it, that's the trim tool. That's the whole enchilada, folks. You got it. If you like this tip, or you've got one that you wanna hear from me that I haven't gone over yet on my channel, leave a, leave a note in comments and I will hit that concept for you in another video. Let me know what you wanna see. What are the things in Premiere that, are, that you can't find in Avid or vice versa? Let me know, I wanna know, let's do it. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like or subscribe. And if you got any questions, hit me up in the comments. Feel free to check my link in the bio or the link underneath if you're watching this on YouTube.